what a third of the t- no a fourth of the how do you I think, it's, I think it's a fourth yeah a f- one, one quarter, quarter. <laughs> oh, don't All do maths on camera <laughs> everybody and welcome to Conversations, a show where we record conversations we were going to have it's anyway true. and upload it to the internet. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro, with the most below, Sheps. How's it going, it's bro? It's going good. How's it going? It's going fantastic because today we're going to be talking about XO19. Yeah. That show that, yeah, exactly. That show that just happened yeah. yesterday, yeah. Uh, live streamed by Xbox. For those of you guys that don't know, this is Xbox's yearly sort of fan convention they do that lasts yeah, a couple yeah, of yeah. days. This year they've decided to do it in London, which I was actually really tempted to go to. Mm-hmm. After watching what they announced, maybe not. It probably would have been the fun atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. But it, you know, this is a, it Xbox didn't work does out. the presentations good. The Fantastic. presentations are great. Yeah, they yeah. put on a party. They yeah. do. They got talking about a bunch of games that are going to be coming out, a bunch of differences to their services yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. They advertised Fortnite. I don't know if you know about that game. It's the a, Xbox exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Very, very and it's very not well known and more no, known than needs the advertisement. Yeah, exactly. That's how the show started off with so Fortnite. They're coming out with all the important things. Other important things like liking the video for the YouTube. Algorithm. That is very important. And maybe exactly. checking out the link in the description for our Discord. Exactly. A great place to be with great dudes and whatnot. What did we actually learn? So, one really important thing. The new thing that's coming out with Xbox is xCloud, right? Project e- xCloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. the competitor to Google Stadia, the yes. streaming service that a lot of people believe it is going to be the future eventually. So we're seeing yeah. the groundwork for yeah. it being laid down. That was the thing we wanted to hear from. They didn't mention anything about um, Scarlet. They did say in advance they weren't going to, so that was not to be surprised at. But we got some information for xCloud. They said that they are going to integrate it with Game Pass Ultimate, which is their Game Pass and Game Pass, uh, sorry, Xbox Live Gold subscription together. Okay. Currently at $15 a month. Now, they still haven't mentioned a price. Exactly, for xCloud. <laughs> I mentioned this in our Discord server and some of the guys there were saying, surely they're not going to re- uh, increase the price of Game Pass Ultimate by adding xCloud to it. It's an extra service. It's an extra service. It stands to reason. They're going to power more servers and more things. You think they're just going to do that out of the goodness of their heart? Don't get me wrong, Microsoft has that Microsoft money. Did they say? Did they say it is coming to the Game Pass or did they say... We're gonna add it into the game pass. So, like, they, can you get it on its own and no game pass? First, or do you have to get it with the game? You know, they did say we are going to include it with Game Pass Ultimate. That language sounds, that sounds like, like it comes for free. It sounds it like, ca- it. like in the price you get this, 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 and Eggs Cloud. Mm-hmm. It does sound. Are like they it. gonna do it? That's a good thing. I don't right there. think and, so. And the thing is, is that if they were gonna do it, if they were gonna include it for that price. You would have made a big statement about it, especially you because would have really hammered that home. It'd be you? like yeah, yeah. we're gonna include it in because they mentioned as well that they've you know the promotional introductory promotional price that they're doing for yeah, Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. But they're like one dollar you get one month, and then they upped it one dollar for two months. They've upped yeah. it to one dollar for three months now. That's a lot of. That is a good deal. A good, good deal, especially if you just you want to give it a shot, give it a yeah. little chip and whatnot. But they mentioned price there, so they're not afraid to mention price. No, absolutely not. Why didn't they mention it for X Cloud? I agree. And why didn't they mention it for this integration for uh, X Plus Game Pass and whatnot? It's a troubling situation because it's been so long now. It's coming out next year. It's in beta at the moment. People yeah. are saying it runs just fine. They're noticing the the lag differences between a, a normal game and the thing, which is to be expected. Everything, in fairness, tends to run just fine in beta when there are 40 people playing it right yep, yep. We, we've known this since call of duty which i know isn't everybody's favorite game but it is one of the largest games ever mm-hmm. every time the first week is a struggle yeah because they're never ready for that many people to sign on all at once the servers lag and and there are problems that the 10,000 people that had early access couldn't find because there's only 10,000 of them yep, yep. when you have 100 million people however many millions of people playing the game yeah. they discover problems and balancing issues yep. World of Warcraft which has been running for like 11 years yeah. or more maybe like 12 when it relaunched Classic which is literally the they same just game. took stuff out and, and let you just play that <laughs> yeah. that had issues they knew exactly how many people could potentially play this mm-hmm. they knew all of it and it had all these issues yep, yep, yep. which isn't a, a beef against the games the dev side of things yeah. it's that when a huge load of people jump on stuff things change a bit yeah so yeah it's doing great it's doing fine now but what how will it do when a hundred thousand people <clears throat> all on second one want to access it that's the thing i mean as much as like we've had our conversations here and everyone in the comments section all of you guys are all fantastic we've all said that like streaming 
isn't for us. It's not going to be our primary source, at least for the foreseeable future. Yeah. It may some when revolutionary thing. Megabit Wi-Fi. Exactly. When Wi-Fi is at megabit, yeah, it's the way. It's the way forward. Then we might all switch over. Yeah. For the foreseeable future, not. There might not be that many people coming on day one, so they might be at yeah. a good position already. Sure. But we don't know until no. it actually comes out. When it comes out on day one, then we can give it its full critique. But right if, now, we can just say, okay, this is what your service if day is. Day one, if it's on Game Pass. Yeah. Like, if I don't have to pay for the service, I'm definitely checking it out day one. Mm-hmm. If all of the people on Game Pass go, well, let's see how this works. Yeah. They've been bigging this up. That, that could cause some problems. So they didn't actually tell us the price. No. Nope. They said, can you can I get it as a standalone? You can. Let's say if I only wanted just that. Yeah. So you I can don't do. have to get the, the Game Pass. It does yeah. sound like it's included in the price. It does sound like it. They did I announce a couple of it. other cool things as well that was genuinely quite cool. So okay. they announced a couple of how you can play the game, what controllers you can use. You can apparently use a DualShock 4 if you want to, which is great. Con- you know, you can just any sort of Bluetooth controller to it. I'm starting to get the feel that they're pushing towards just going service-based and then Sony do all That's the hard That's our theory. Work. That's that what we've been theory. saying for That's, a while. That is a five to ten year theory. Yeah. You, you will get this. It will have the black and white artifacts. And <laughs> they'll be us in like 2018 going, we think this. And I think the, you know, the console subscription that they were talking yes. about. I reckon that's part of it as well. Because if you hook them into, say, like a two year Game Pass Ultimate subscription. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, well, you're already there. You don't need the console. You can just play the streaming thing now. That's exactly. all you need. Or it could be there. Um, they also announced that there's going to be 50 games coming at launch to okay, this Xbox. That's uh, better. Yeah. Very, very cool. And also game to Game Pass, uh, Witcher 3 has also been added to that uh, list Good. as well. Well, good, good. So that's fantastic. The 50 games is always very interesting that they announce it right now because uh, Google Stadia announced their list of games and it's only 12. Yes, it's launch. a lot less. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe because one's a game studio, games developer and studio. And exactly. Whatnot, and one's that not. said, you know, they have access to all of their exclusives. Yes. Microsoft doesn't. Obviously, Google has to pay for all of them, I suppose. However, I wouldn't care if Stadia had, what, a third of the, t- no, a fourth of the, how do you I think, it's, I think it's a fourth, yeah. A fourth, one, one quarter. quarter. <laughs> oh, don't Awkward. do maths on camera. <laughs> I wouldn't care that Stadia only has a quarter of the games if it actually works. Yeah. And if the Google X cloud, whatever, doesn't work or it crashes because everybody with the Game Pass tries it on day one, mm. then I'm... I'm going to rather the fewer games that I can play than all the games that I can't play. Yeah. Also, one other thing that Stadia is not doing is that they're not, they're saying that this is their service coming out, whereas xCloud is in beta right now. If any problems happen with the beta, it's a beta. Don't worry about it. We're yeah, working yeah, yeah. it out. This is what the whole point of That's it is. That's smarter marketing for sure. Exactly. That's the information that we have regarding Xbox and the XO18, so XO19, my apologies, yeah. um, event they got going on there. The games that they announced, there weren't any massive exclusives. Like, they didn't talk about Halo. They'd, uh, that's coming out in like a year's time mm-hmm. from now. It's going to be a launch title for the Scarlet. They didn't mention any of the, the brand new studios that they've made with their new IPs and stuff like that. Yeah. There's apparently a small studio within Obsidian which they purchased, which made a a tiny little game for them to bring up. They're, they're going to bring that out soon. I'm like, okay, but is that enough to get you to the next hurdle? I definitely feel like they went the uh, the shotgun approach with mm-hmm. the studios. They were like, boom, let's buy all these different things and hopefully one of them will come up with something that bangs. Whereas Sony were like, quality, they went the sniper approach. We're going to make God of War 4. We're yeah, going to make the last of us. Yeah. So it'll be an interesting, hopefully with that many devs houses, dev houses under the umbrella mm. all of them are inspired to make at least something good yeah right I'm, I'm not expecting a last of us or a god of war 4 and you don't have to bring that out yeah just have, give me something to play apparently they're all very comfortable over there they keep saying that microsoft is very like generous and very helping and they don't put any pressure on them which is a good thing a yeah. good thing pressure doesn't always make diamonds no that's what they say but yeah i'm interested to see exactly what's going to happen in terms of the price of xcloud yes. especially because google stadia by the time they announce their service xcloud announced the price of their service google stadia should be in theory well rooted in our gaming ecosystem yeah. that they should be they'll be becoming direct competitors at that point and that's what they'll be because you have an xbox so are you so interested in the x cloud plus game pass i am interested in playing games that i probably wouldn't have gone out and purchased yeah. if it's right there for one reasonable fee i'm not gonna go pay like 30 pounds a month or no. whatever but if you if there's one reasonable fee where it's like you know what 15 dollars, 15 dollars for this month you get to play all these games i'll be like you know what i'll try a bit of everything yeah i'll try a little bit of everything. you know the new halo game i'll give that a go for yeah. 15 dollars and one why not but it's all based on that price and the we other need to thing get is we're soon. getting to that point where there are now so many subscription services that you can easily be yep. paying hundreds of pounds a month on yeah. just sub just subscriptions yeah unlike ours which is completely free exactly i mean you can donate 
to our Patreon though. We don't. Uh, buy our merch. No, no, we don't no, have no, any. No, no, no. Just the flashlights. Just buy just those. The flashlights. <laughs> yeah, um, dude, I'm super interested where this is gonna go. I hope yeah. everyone at home as well. You guys are all interested in this, and I can't wait for the next big event, which is probably gonna be sometime next year when we get like reveals of the consoles. They had better start talking money, right? Sometime soon. Both. Even PlayStation. I was gonna say Sony as well. I want to know what the price I'm looking at is. Yeah. I want a chance for the people to say that's too much and hopefully bring it down. Yep. And I want to have, I, w- I need to know, I need to know. And look, if the Scarlet is, you know, similar enough and way cheaper, why, why not? Why not? It's a games console. It's going to play yeah. your best games. Exactly. <coughs> anyway. <coughs> Done. I'm dying. BB. BB. I'm BB, save me. BB. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. I've got it back. <laughs> anyway, bro, that's uh, this is going to be really weird if I edit it. Uh, yeah. I can't edit, otherwise people aren't going to understand what's going on here. Anyway, bro, I'm really interested to hear what's going to happen with uh, Xbox and Card and everything. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you in the next one.